Hey guys, welcome back. Aoshi here. With another episode of some FFT. Let's jump into it. Hour 26 minutes. Level 2. <laughs> That's character level, not job level, by the way. <clears throat> Alright. Kind of... So this is green now. What that means is there's a chance that when you walk over it, that it'll turn into a random battle. I don't know the odds or percentage, but we'll see what happens. Eh, we lucked out. So I don't think there's a fight here. Just a story for now. Guess Algus knows throw stone. <laughs> You don't like that much, eh? There's Zalbag. 
given his brother the hint. <laughs> Maybe go check it out. <clears throat> I don't know if Dice Darg would want him to do so, but. Well, yeah, because uh, <clears throat> Teta and Delete are both poor. Of course, they're made fun of by the other nobles and whatnot. Like the academy and schools. Sucks. But that happens in real life, too, so... Um... So let's check out the shop. <clears throat> nice, we can get long swords. Oh, I should give him a sword at least. Okay, whew, pricey. I'll sell some of these old ones. Just a few daggers. I don't know, in case I have <clears throat> job changes. You don't want to get rid of all your stuff, but it's like obvious when longsword replaces broadsword. You can get rid of a bunch of those. But I don't have many in the knife category, just in case I go thief or you know something else that needs it. Probably don't need 10 leather hats. Get rid of most of those that aren't equipped already. Give us a little extra cash to work with. So we've got options. <clears throat> shield. I don't think squires can use shields. And then bow gun. Obviously for archers. If we went knight, then we could use the shield and we could use this bronze helmet. As you can see, squires can't use it. It's more heavy, I guess. We can purchase battle boots. Oof. A thousand apiece. I'd want two more. So what I can do is sell one of these expensive items. Yeah, no one's gonna use holy water. Jeez. Now, we'll go to the fitting room. I'll try on battle boots here and here. So now everyone can move five spaces. Well, except for our, our guests. But I'm okay with that. So yeah, I'm not going to switch them over to knights yet. Because, <clears throat> like... I said previously, we want to get the squire skills up there. Um, let's see if we make it here. Nice. Sometimes after story events happen, um, cities you've already been to get new stuff. So, like this oak staff, I don't think it was here before, or rod. So now it's kind of set up for priests and wizards. Feather hat and leather outfit. So I think that's actually an improvement for our cloth wearers and whatnot. Ooh, I don't have much money. Let's see if there's anything else we can sell here. Three hundred for the high ether X potion. Remedy. I 
Okay. Let's see what we can get with that. <clears throat> yeah, so the, the armor equipment this game. There's no, like, real defense stat. Like, something that just reduces damage you take. And so, better equipment gives you more health. Or, you know, in this case, the feather hat gives you some MP. So that's good for uh, magic users. And again, I don't really mess with the the guests. Oh crap! How much was it? I wonder why it doesn't. Okay. Negative 900. Holy cow. <clears throat> I need how much? So I need 2600. I don't even know if I can raise that much, honestly. Elixir's five. Come on. <clears throat> I hate to sell these. It's okay. This is a one time thing. Now we can get a little bit back. Okay. Whew, we are broke. But we are set up for our next fight. Let's hop in this Swiggy Woods. And I forgot to give Algus a weapon. <laughs> oh, snap. Just gonna go in punching everyone. Oh, that's right. Since everyone's a squire, we'll just throw everyone at the front. Now, another thing I could have done is if, because the feather hat gave us more MP, I could have gave the other person white magic instead of. Uh, Instead of um, just have items. So I'm going to fix those two right now. <clears throat> Is it me or did the music sound fast? So 
Let's see if I can fix this. <laughs> it's like fast forwarded. There's like a hotkey somewhere. Let's see. Uh, did I like overclock something? No. That's so weird. Let me try to just reset it. <clears throat> I did the soft reset, you know, the LR start select. Okay. I think that sounds fine. You can't access like the hotkeys while the game is running. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that was weird. Somehow I hit something to make it go into like fast forward mode. But now we're good. So we'll equip Algus. Good old mithril knife. And then yeah, 16 MP now. So we'll definitely get Cure. And I could do like Wizard. So Cinderella, being the good Disney person, well, <laughs> I have white magic. And then Valvalis, our darker person, will have, have some black magic going on. I don't think I've ever used poison. Just adds poison. Effect 2, vertical 2. Vertical one. Well, let's just get to three basics for now. Can explore that later. Get black magic. Okay, now we are set. <clears throat> All right, let's mess some people up, Swiggy Woods. this setup. <clears throat> People have white and black magic. I'll have them a little bit further away. Not for defensive purposes, but because the range is extended by the range of their spells, it uh, makes more sense that way, I guess. <clears throat> So this is another one of those zones where it's like, it'll be a, a random battle area after this. But for right now, it's just kind of a story fight. And of course, our guests are just going to be like, balls to the wall. 
was like, ah, just run in there. I'll give him a little bit of support. I used to like to stay in place. You know what, Algus? I can have a stone. <laughs> Slow your roll. I'll stay right here. I wonder if it misses. Because this won't connect to this person, right? Because Delita's in the way. So I wonder if that grants Delita a 100% chance to get hit. I'm curious. Well, he got hit. We got black magic. The thing is, having black magic this early, it's... <clears throat> we don't know where people are going to move. Let's do a throw stone. <clears throat> Nobody needs to be healed, so I'll also throw stone. It's nice because you get full XP and job points. And you're only doing like three, six damage to your teammates. At least right now. So yeah, this is um, one of the more common uh, monster type battles. So there's like no enemy humanoids at all. So it's, you have to approach it a little differently. Their stats are like higher, I think. Like, naturally. They don't need weapons or armor. They got decent stats. So. Like the cat... The uh, panther doesn't have a, a shield or anything, but you know it's like an agile creature, so he's kind of hard to hit. And they got some unique abilities too, like the bombs can blow up. So I'm gonna try and ugh, I don't. This is a good spot to hit the panther, but then I'm gonna get like surrounded. Yeah, seventy-seven percent. Jeez. We'll just try to attack him head on. Nice. Mm, not too bad. See, they have the built in counterattacks too. A lot of the monsters. Yeah, this extra, the battle boots is awesome. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Just that little purchase. Expensive purchase, but makes a difference. Ooh, look at that. Just enough. And a crit. Nice. Okay. Black magic. Six turns. Satyros. SKRP. So I'll kind of look. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's like everyone. Damn. That's the tricky part with black magic. If the turn order is kind of wonky, then... <clears throat> no. It's not very safe. So, what I'm getting at is if you haven't played this kind of game before, at least for this specific tactical JRPG, if I... I can cast a spell on a unit or a panel if I select a panel, it just stays wherever I throw it. But if you do unit, it locks onto the unit wherever they move. It casts it on them later. So if they move right into my own guys, then I'm just like killing myself because it doesn't differentiate friend or foe. Um, let me see if anyone needs healing. This would be a good spot to heal right here. Panther's going to get healed. Actually, he's already full health, so... It's not bad at all. I 
Hopefully our guests don't move out of the way of the heal. I could have checked the AT list. That's okay. As long as one person gets healed, it's good enough. Oh, Algus is okay. Nice. See the difference in healing? It's not really on her, but so much as the receiver. Delita's faith is like 50 something. So that's why the heal on him was terrible. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Full health. So is this panther. I have to get behind it. Good. Stack up on the horror. You guys only got one HP. We have dash. Just to be sure. Can dash at this guy, finish him off. Nice. Okay, this is our black magic person. So Persipone will go after the spell, which is yeah, the Panther. Panthers are weak against Earth. So I usually just cast like bolt on them or something. The goblins are weak against ice, but because of their turn order, it's not too not too good. Alright, does anyone need a heal? It's a little low. Good, good, good. So I can move in to attack. I just have to remember I did an offensive spell over here. So what I can do is come on this side, add a little damage. And then I want to face this way. Potions? It's okay. Come on, Algus. All right. <laughs> we got two guys left. So they're both about the same HP. So let's go right here. So we can get behind him. Ooh, nice. <coughs> Unfortunately, to hit both guys, I might have to like do some damage to my main hero. But, look at this, 42 damage to these goblins. Oh, that guy's not even going to die. That's alright. Aha! So we can dash, add a little bit more damage on him. 
I'm gonna stay put. That wasn't too bad on the hero. Whoa, don't crit, don't crit. Okay. I mean, it's fine even if we died because the battle's almost over anyway. One of these guests is gonna steal a kill. I guess not. Too far away. Looks like Cinderella's ready to move in. Get some XP. Nice. I like how <laughs> the characters are in the water. It's like one meter deep, but uh, they're crouching, so they're just like drowning. Congratulations. Good, we needed some cash. 1200, that's it. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, the money scales with the uh, the level of your opponents, I think. So random battles, they'll scale the creature's levels to whoever has the highest level in your party. I think that's another reason why I like to keep everyone equal. Because if one guy is super high, then all the other guys are going to struggle. <clears throat> At least in the random battles. The story battles are... The levels are set. Like predetermined. Alright, so for Squire, I'm Ramza. I want to save up for Accumulate. But no, he's going to start skyrocketing when I do that. I'll give him some more movement for now. Six move is... Awesome. So first we want gain JP up. They're really close. So we'll hold off. Also close. And pretty close. For them they didn't gain as much because they don't have gain JP up yet. But um That's okay. Got through the fight. Let's check out these two guys. Nothing here. I think I throw a stone. You see, he's kind of like weird because he's got some extra abilities. So he's like another special squire. It's interesting because... because um, Yeah, so Delita has Wish. Right, where's our main? Area? The Rams has the same stuff as Delita, having the extra Wish ability and the Yell. So they're all kind of like a little special in that way. But, uh,. Let's see, what do we got next? Dorder Trade City. That's kind of a big battle, so... Hmm. Honestly, I don't even think I'm ready for that yet. So I might, uh... Grind a little bit... Off camera. Maybe to, uh... At least get some more... Skills learned for Squire. And then, when I come into this fight, I want to have something better than just like four squires. Maybe, maybe a knight and an archer, and an actual priest and a wizard. I think that would be good. So yeah, I'm going to cut the video here. So that'll do it. Uh, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah.
uh, have at this and we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching